morning, you guys. <laughs> so I had a little adventure this morning. I went out in the yard. I'll spin around and give you the back view of it. I went out in the yard about where that round drum is way back there looking for materials for the steps for the back door and proceeded to get the heister stuck and that gravel road back there. <laughs> What's the fun of that? Uh, so I had to get Chris to come and help me. He was awesome. So he brought the he brought the buggy out and hooked on to me with the winch, but you know, we were I was just feeling bad about getting the heister stuck, so I didn't even think about filming it. So it would have been great video. But I found uh, I found this old truck ramp out there. I believe it's the ramp that they loaded cars onto a car hauler with. And they bent it. So I think I can cut this thing up and make some awesome steps because I love the uh, I love the textured poked holes and they're all they're all uh, deburred, you know, there's nothing sharp on there. It's basically got a built-in toe kick already. And a, a big front step there so you don't snag your toes going up. And it's long enough. I can get enough steps out of it. And Chris and Joe know how to straighten stuff and they might, you know, they might stick it in that big press over there. But those two guys could straighten this out once, especially once I get it into short pieces. Oh, that's my adventure for the day. I'm going to try to get this laid out and uh, start building some back steps. Uh, that's just too difficult. I'm gonna switch tools here. How did it come out this time? It didn't. Uh, oh, sweet. I my other one must have still been warm. It, it was bend. still warm. I didn't know it had to cool off. It didn't bend. It shouldn't have had to. But it didn't bend this far either. Uh, so, so these... Let's, these... Bend them. let's bend them all this way and then we'll go back and bend them a little bit more. Alright. This is the super chomper. I ain't touching this thing. using his foot down there to control it. Woo 
do, 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 do. I love that. <laughs> Those steps. There was a whole bunch more there than we needed. So he's forming the toe kick on the back end of the step now. So I picked that ramp material out because it was awesome and I liked the texture in the holes, but I didn't realize you think it was cast or extruded? It's extruded. And then it's, it was heat tempered, so that's why, even though I annealed it with the torch, maybe I didn't get it hot enough. Man, how many pounds is this thing? 250. 250 tons. So he's matching the first one that we bent yesterday's. Done deal? Done deal. Awesome, thank you, Chris. I call this thing the super chomper. <laughs> That's a chomper. I know, but this is like the super chomper. Okay, we got mixed results here. A couple of them, they didn't even crack. I must have just heated them hotter. This one, well, yeah, he barely tried to crack. And this guy here, he was trying to separate himself. <laughs> so now we're gonna go back, and I guess I'm gonna learn how to TIG well today. We'll see what happens. Okay, here's real, real world results of my first TIG welding. I am pretty proud of it. It's a little bit, uh, it's way different than any kind of welding I've done. So, some of it we did what he called washing. I didn't have to add anything to it. So the ones that we just washed, they, they were easier to do. And there's where I added some fill in cracks and what have you. But hey, I mean, that's my first time doing it. I think it's okay. I get better with time. This one's a little chunky. But I don't think he'll come apart. There you go. Awesome. Okay, you guys, look at this. The steps are almost all together. And I got them, got the inside all welded. 
across that top seam right there. Okay, YouTube, I'm trying to bend this for the cleat to hook onto the door. And we find ourselves back at the Super Smasher. Man down, man down. I pinched myself in the camera tripod. <laughs> What's up with that, YouTube? This is the steps plug into this channel. So it's a blind, it's blind, I have to pop rivet it on. And I'm using stainless pop rivet, so I'm not too worried about it, but I would have rather bolted it. What's up, YouTube? We've got steps. They're not quite finished. Randy's still got to tweak them a little bit and put some leveling jacks on them. But we have steps for our back door. It is so awesome. Yeah, right down there we got to put leveling jacks. There you go, baby. But you can enter the back door. I know. I love it. This is going to be so great. He's done an amazing job on these. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. So we want to just thank you guys for following us along on this journey and know that we really appreciate each and every one of you guys. And we will just catch you in the next one. Love to all of you. Bye.